Y'all know every fall I have to come out here and take a picture of this cypress tree in my backyard because it is absolutely gorgeous as it turns bright orange, dull orange, whatever color orange it is, and before it drops its leaves. It's just gorgeous. Hey, this is Felicia, and this is the garden update that I've been promising for a while. I was out of town for a minute, and the cold came, and I have a microclimate back here. So, this tomato is still alive. This is a, a, a dwarf tomato, um, and when ripe, this will be... So it's a, a white color, it com it'll turn completely white. And I have three more tomatoes on it. This plant's not looking the best, but it's still hanging in there. Also have some mint and another tomato plant over here. That one's just about dead, um, but it's still going. Also on this side, this whole, this entire area has got its little microclimate going on because the cold came and they're still alive. Here's my moringa um, tree. Um, it did, a few leaves did turn yellow on it, but it is still alive. It's still hanging in there. Um, and I'll show you the other moringa in the other area that does not have that same microclimate and the cold got it. Um, here's a collard here um as you can see some of the lower leaves are ate up but the upper leaves are doing good i'm going to harvest some of those and eat them um blueberry in there is just hanging on for dear life a citrus plant there bit it it got dried out at some point bit it um i'm going to try to replace that perhaps there's another citrus of some kind i think that is a satsuma I'm gonna um, move that to a larger container. Got a couple of herbs in here. A little bit of thyme right here. It's hanging on and a little bit of sage right here. Uh, I think that's a con both of those are container varieties. Chamomile never did do anything. It was in here, but never did do anything. Over here, let me walk around there so you can see. I got a mess. I got a mess out here, y'all. That's one of, the, one of the reasons I have done anything, because I got a mess. So, this is a pomegranate that I grew from seed and thought it was dead. Top completely died back, got dried out, and it, it's come back. It's looking pretty good. This is coming out of the container going into the ground. Um, this right here is my elderberry. Um, it also died back, but it's hanging on. It's staying in the container, but it's going to get a a bigger container because the root um, is ready for a bigger container. There's another citrus here. I think that's also a satsuma. Um, no, another citrus here. I think that's calamondin. Another calamondin right there. I'm going to head over to the backyard um, so you can see my other moringa. Hang on. All right, here I'm on the back patio. There's Bella over there being needy here's the other moringa that i have i might have to stop and let her in the house okay hang on anywho had to let her in the house but this is another moringa and as you can see right here all the leaves fell off of this one now it's still green it's still alive but all the leaves fell off of that one i'm hoping that it'll um survive the winter but I'm probably gonna pull it inside the garage when it gets colder um, this is my service berry tree it's fine it's supposed to drop its leaves this time of year um, that is a citrus I don't know what kind it is it's either a satsuma or a grapefruit um, no it's either a kumquat or grapefruit I'm not sure which it is the other one died and I can't keep them apart that's a tomato that it's dead it's, it's yeah it's dead <laughs> but anyway these back here the coal 
got to them. And so they are, um, I mean, the moringa, the cold got to the moringa and the tomatoes that are back here on this side of the house, but on the other side it was warmer and so they survived. Let's go over here and look, take a look at this container. In this container, you can see my kale, dwarf, blue curled kale is doing fine. I need to harvest it and eat some of it. Now Bella's in the house and I'm outside and she wants to be outside, you know, par for the course. Got some onions growing here. This right here is ginger. I need to dig it up and see what's underneath. Um, but I can't dig it up by hand because I'm afraid there's ants in there. So, can't dig it up by hand. There's also a tomato in here that's dead, dead, dead right here as you can see some of the tomatoes that fell off the coal got it um just the other part of the plant over here it's got some tomatoes on it um but it's dead um so coal got that um let's go over here and take a look at my fig tree yeah now she's okay what are you doing what are you doing stop that yeah she's out wrapping around me trying to trip me down anyways we're at the fig tree this is my fig tree y'all have seen it before it is complete, almost completely without leaves i might not get this done she might not let me almost completely without leaves but look at this it still has fruit on it and look at this the fruit is still ripening that one's it's ready it's soft it's ready this fruit is still ripening and there's still fruit on it and so as long as it doesn't get cold again i'm thinking that this fruit look it's trying to put out a new leaf here i'm thinking as long as it, that we don't get another cold snap um this fruit will keep ripening up here's one that the birds got Let me see if Bella wants it. You want this? I guess she wanted it. <laughs> Anyways, that's my fig tree. And like I said, the figs are still ripening up and it's full of figs. It's got figs all over it. And, um, and I'm still harvesting and eating them. Um, I usually just dry them. All right, let's look at the last of the containers walk on over here oh uh, there's my muscadine grapes they didn't give too much this year i need to learn how to um care for them because i think i'm just not giving them what they need to produce um but there's that um there's a blueberry right here it's still hanging on this one i think is dead um but i ain't gonna worry about it i'm probably gonna cut the top back out of it and mulch it real good and see what happens this is a container full of ants. Everything that's it was in it's dead. There's a citrus right there. I'm not sure what it is. I think it's a satsuma, but it's hanging on. Um, that was right here. It's not dead. It's still got some green on it. Um, what was that? That was, uh, I don't know. There's some onions in here too. Um, I think that was a passion fruit, um, but we'll see a passion fruit, but I, yeah, but we'll see if it survives. I have another one in around the way. I forgot to show y'all that one um, in another container. And then over here, we've got mint and the mint is living its best life. There's two different kinds of mint in here. There is um, spearmint right here and if I can find it, I'll show you, but, and you can, you can tell the difference. There it is right there. I think that's it. Yeah. Right. Oh, I can't tell. Look, I think that's it right there, but I can't really tell for sure. There's some peppermint in here too, but there's, that's most of it spearmint, but there is some, yeah, this is it right here. It's the smoother leaves. They're not as, I don't know if that's it or not. I don't know. I'm trying to tell y'all stuff. I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't listen to me. But there's spearmint in there and there's peppermint in there. And then there's some, also some, like, what is that stuff called? Henbit or chickweed or something. I don't know what that stuff is called. It has a purple flower on it. 
and then over here used to be lemon balm but I don't know that there's is this lemon balm nope I don't think there's any lemon balm left in here I think the lemon balm all died so that one is going to get a redo um, as soon as I get time energy whatever all right I'm going to that's all of the containers that I have so I'm gonna end this right here um, and I'll come back with the second part for the beds and stuff I mean yeah I'll do that um, thanks for watching the video if you like my content please subscribe to the channel hit the thumbs up um, but most of all come back and see me again bye y'all